Hi everyone. In this video I want to explain how a Geiger-Müller counter works. A Geiger-Müller counter can be used to measure radioactive radiation. Here you can see the structure of such a device. A noble gas is located in a metal cylinder. In the middle of the metal cylinder there is a positively charged wire. The outside wall of the cylinder is negatively charged. How can now radioactive radiation be measured? Let us assume that beta minus radiation, that is an electron, flies through the very thin window into the cylinder. This then hits a noble gas atom and knocks an electron of this atom out of the atomic shell. Both electrons are strongly attracted to the positively charged wire after the collision. On the way to the wire, the electrons collide with other electrons from other noble gas atoms. These are also knocked out of the atomic shell of the atoms. This leads to what is known as an electron avalanche, so that many electrons reach the wire. The now positively charged noble gas atoms are attracted to the negatively charged cylinder wall, where they recombine with electrons, so that they are neutrally charged again. The electrons in the wire now flow to the positive pole of the connected power supply unit. You can get to the positive pole in two possible ways. Once through the very large resistor R and once through the counter. Since the resistance is very high, most of the electrons flow through the counter. The counter registers the current poles and now shows the value 1. The value increases by 1 for each current pulse. For example, a Geiger-Müller counter can be used to measure the number of the radioactive particles that fly into the cylinder.